Welcome everyone to College Park, Maryland, and the house that's been built by guys from Boomer to Dick. Home to the Maryland Terrapins, where the fans are eager to welcome visitors into the shell. We've got a sensational matchup for you. Fans have been filing in and getting ready for this game. As we'll see a squad from the SEC, the Auburn Tigers, taking on a team from the Big Ten, the Maryland Terrapins. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. The Terrapins will kick it away first. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the returner is stopped. So the Auburn Tigers will have some work to do after that short return. And when you take the field with the confidence, the swag that this guy does, David, it just really elevates your confidence in the passing game. That receivers don't usually lack confidence. And those are the guys that kind of set the tone. And that swagger sets the tone for this offense. And Jesse, you know he's going to make plays. And that speed scares defenses, too, because he can take the top off quick. These safeties better get back deep or else this guy's going to take it to the house. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. The RPO, it's complete. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a run. He'll keep it himself. Picks up the first down. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. Ooh, I like that option play. I'd keep running that, too, because it's obvious. The defense right now is really keying in on this running back. That was a big point of emphasis for them all week long in practice, and it's opening up holes now for the quarterback to run. He'll pull it on the read. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Well, they were trying to set up the option, but the quarterback had no chance. Did you see the defensive tackle penetrate? What a great first step. He shot right through the offensive line and got the TFL. He'll try to overcome that last play on second and 15. Looking to pass. It's Thorne. Dumps it off in the flats. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. And a great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting the football, letting them get some positive yards. Here they come, facing third and long from the 40. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. Catch in the middle, it's Coleman. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. Well, I think on that play, you saw why this guy's such a big weapon in this offense. At receiver, he does such a nice job with his routes. He's patient, and he's consistent, and he's got good hands. You don't see him put a lot of balls on the ground. Nice job there picking up the first down. On the run, it's Hunter. They work that running game down to the 34. Let's give him three on the carry. Now that's what you try to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Give to the running back. Ran through the contact. He rumbles ahead for six inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Just a simple power play. Power football. Be strong. Be big. Be physical. Make it a fourth quarter game. Make them feel you. Keep them off balance. They'll come to the line for the eighth snap on this opening drive, facing a third and short. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot him at the 24-yard line. 
You know, this is a running back who wants the ball, and he wants the offense to run through him. Really nice job there in the third down of this opening drive for his offense. I can't wait to see what kind of game this guy's going to have. Here comes Auburn to the line on first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Catch in the middle. It's Lambert Smith. They stop him just short of the first down, but it will be second and inches coming up. That big pickup on what they call the drag route, but if you hit it on time, you can hit the turbo boosters. And you've got to be accurate on the throw, too, Reese. Nice job by the QB there, putting it out in front of his receiver to make an easy catch and then advance it. Looking downfield, it's Thorne. Quick strike complete. Takes it all the way down to the four after making the grab, and they're set up. We've got to give the O-line a lot of credit there because it gave the receiver time to work all the way across the field on the drag route against zone coverage. Quarterback gets it to him. He's able to turn it up and get a first down. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Tigers. That's so frustrating for the opposing offense, too, because you're just salivating. You're just waiting for an opportunity to get on the field. The offense possessed it the entire first quarter and then capped it off with a touchdown. That was amazing. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they finish it off with the score from the four. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the run from inside his own five. They get him on the ground, and with that, we'll head to the second quarter. That's the end of the quarter, and Auburn has the lead. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats. Heading in the opposite directions now as we crank it up in the second. Offense getting set for first down. They go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's amazing how play by a defensive end in the backfield can really swing the momentum not only of a series but of a game sometimes. All you're trying to do is create negative plays, to get them behind the sticks a little bit, to get those sacks, to get those tackles for losses. You see so much stunting in college football up front with the defensive line because you know once you get one of those plays, you got the offense right where you are. They bring him down, but a solid pick up to put them in position to pick up a first down. I'll tell you, for this defense, they're going to have to find a way to bracket the slot receiver because of how athletic he is. They're going to need to make sure they've got linebackers and DBs surrounding this guy at all times. Let's see what they do on third down. Back to pass, it's Edwards. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. He's going to have enough to pick up the first down as they stop him at the 33-yard line. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. Going up top on first down. Throws to the back. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. We know this guy's a weapon, not just taking handoffs, but he can catch the ball, too. That play, not so much. Got to do a better job reeling it in. After the incompletion, let's see if they go back to the air on second and ten from the 33. On the ground with the counter. Stuffed, almost in his track, but strong enough to pick up one to the 35. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. A third and long coming up here. Here's the snap, itching to fire downfield. They're setting up the screen. 
And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. They got a little bit, uh, but they didn't get the first down. And you're obviously trying to get the first down, but you try to slip in those screens occasionally on third down. I like when you slip them in there to try to make a big play, catch the defense maybe being a little aggressive. And the Terrapins send out the punt unit, getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. They'll get him down at the 21-yard line. The coverage team able to stop him right there. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. Back to throw, it's Thorne. He's got his man. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Slants against man. That wide receiver has to win right now. Right now at the line of scrimmage against that DB playing man coverage. Quarterback timing with the wide receiver. Put it on the money. Wide receiver's probably still going to get hit, too. and got to hold on to that thing. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Tackle is made after the first down. You know, in the SEC, you're going to have to run the football if you're going to win games. And you can go on and on talking about great Auburn running backs back in the day. But right here, right now, if this team's going to win an SEC championship, they need to force feed this guy the football and let him go to work. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. They'll give it to him again. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. It's the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Got it in the middle. It's Coleman. Oh, and the defense in chase mode, and they finally get him down at the 35. Well, you know who's got to love this offense picking up so many first downs? It's their own defense. David, I know you love playing on teams with great offenses. The Tigers getting set on first and ten. He's going to pass. Looking for the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. That's a great job by the DB playing the ball in the air. You see it all the time. DBs kind of get turned around. The wide receiver goes up and makes a catch. No, sir. DB, great position, knocks the ball down for an incompletion. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. Back to pass, it's Thorne. It's complete. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. Now with the first and goal, let's see what Auburn's got cooking. Back to the air one more time. It's complete to the left. Crisp execution in the passing game, and they've got it down to the three. Great effort by the defense here. Offense trying to go wide receiver screen. How about the speed on defense rounding to the football? Got nothing last time. Now second and goal from the three. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Trying play action. And the quarterback, Roma and sacked at the 12. How about that from the offense? Second and goal, everything says you might run the football. They try to throw it, and man, was that unsuccessful. Sit back in the pocket, just throw the football away. Don't take the sack, don't go backwards, especially inside the three-yard line, set up in such good position. Needs to get it in the end zone on third and goal. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. I'll tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock him up man to man, everybody on an island, and everybody won. They get the incompletion now setting it forth. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. Between the uprights, it's good. And now the lead is even bigger.
So they get the field goal, now about to kick it away, and you get a stop here, and you go to halftime feeling really good about things. And he'll bring it back. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Maryland has the ball back and the Terrapin offense ready to go. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game right now. I'd take it into halftime, make my adjustments, and come out ready in the second half. Yeah, I'm going to take it into halftime too, Paul. But I'm trying to put some points up right here. Be aggressive, set the tone, be like, hey, listen, this is what you're going to get in the second half, so find something really quickly you can go to. Looking to throw, it's Edwards. This time he's got his man. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. When a defense is in zone coverage, Jesse, they want to react. How do you react to a howitzer coming out like that one? Not much you can do because this guy's got a cannon. You saw all the eyeballs on defense on that play. They were waiting and anticipating that throw, but when you've got an arm like that, it's going to be tough to stop that curl. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. A first half that saw a little bit of everything there in College Park. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen and panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that, let's send it back to the guys inside the shell. Auburn ready to boot it deep to start the second half. And he's coming out of the end zone. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here comes the Maryland offense back onto the field. Maybe adjustments or attitude or attitude adjustments, but they've got to find a way to run the ball at least some here in the second half. I do think you said something that's important. I think running the football is an attitude. Like, it starts with the offensive line and being physical, having a nasty attitude, running back, same thing. I think they need more of that in the second half. You know, and I think if any of you're this defense, you have an opportunity to make a statement here. Yeah, I know you guys went in at halftime and you riled yourselves up and you told yourself that you think you can run the ball on us. On this very first drive, we're gonna prove to you just like in the first 30 minutes, you cannot. The give to the tailback. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. The Terrapins want to crank the tempo. Fast motion from the offense. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to play, have push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead. Of him. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. From the shotgun now, here's an inside gift. Make the stop at the 40, but it's a 10-yard gain and a fresh set of downs. Well, you wonder if one of the adjustments they made at halftime trailing in this game was to try and get the ground game established, David, and they're off to a good start here. 
Dang right. Stay patient. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to press. Just try to get scoring drives together. Don't abandon the run. On the ground, it's McDonald. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. We love to see that from the defense, right? It's like bend, don't break. They've given up a bunch of plays on this drive, but now that they're getting down close to field goal range, you're seeing them start to stiffen up there. Yeah, and plays don't matter anymore. Yards don't matter. All that matters with these defenses nowadays is points and limiting them. Dropping back, it's Edwards. Good timing on the quick out. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. Well, that's great timing by the quarterback and receiver on that out route. If you're going to be running that against man coverage like they were there, that ball has to be thrown early, and it's got to be thrown out in front of the receiver, and they execute it perfectly. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They could really use a conversion, not to mention multiple scores. They'll try to run for it. And he needed one yard, and he didn't get it. The defense won the battle up front. That's a really good stop by the defense. Jesse, they need a few more. You've given up a bunch of yards on this drive and a bunch of plays, but all that matters is keeping them off the scoreboard. Yeah, it's that bend, don't break mentality you're seeing right now, and this is the point where this defense has just got to lock in. Knocked it right through, showing that big range from 48 yards out. Well, the head coach decided to play it safe for a fourth and inches and try to field goal team out there, and this field goal kicker just made him look like a pretty smart guy. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, it just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing that... Get that one positive play, and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Picks up seven. Good enough for first down. That's the end of the quarter, and Auburn has the lead. They're sitting in a strong position here with the lead. Let's take a look at our game summary. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. From the gun, they'll try the middle. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. Out of the gun, the inside give. Not much he could do there. Does pick up two to the 34. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Back to throw, it's Thorn. He's got his man. All kinds of running room. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. Nice job executing the four-minute offense. You know, they practiced this throughout the week, having a lead late in the game, running plays, to just get enough to get first downs to stay on the field, and they are executing this four-minute offense to perfection. And the Tigers are moving quickly down the field. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. 
Didn't get much done on that run. He'll fight his way out and maybe, maybe pick up a yard. How about the job by this defense today? They knew what they were getting into. A really good running back. We talked to him this week. It was the main focus point of this offense, stopping the run game, stopping the run game. Boy, have they showed up and showed out and answered that challenge. Leaves it with the running back. Discards a man. Strong run. Picks up six down to the 22-yard line. Well, this offense thinks that they have enough left in the tank here to run the football and run all the time off the clock. They got the lead late. Didn't get the first down on that last one, but it's not going to surprise anybody if they turn around and hand it off again here. They're staring down the defense and this crowd on this huge third and four. From the gun, wants to pass. Caught over the middle. It's Burton. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. Boy, the defense really needed to get off the field there, and they just couldn't do it, and it's a fresh set of downs. Man, that hurts. When you're trailing late in the ball game, you need those stops, and you get them to third down. You get them to those critical points. Now they get the first down. You don't have many left. You better get aggressive. Going to the run, it's Hunter. We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. Linebackers trying to create some confusion. On second down, let's see if they go right back to the run and put this game on ice. The play action fake. He wants it all. And it's caught for a touchdown, and that might do it. And you know, late in the games, offenses sometimes get conservative when they got the lead and they got the ball. I love this offense. They were aggressive. They got another score added to the lead. Now you're trying to salt this game away. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. They march 79 yards on the drive, and they close the deal with the seven-yarder for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. Maryland has the ball back in the Terrapin offense ready to go. Looking for a man. It's Edwards. It's complete. Nice pitch and catch there. And they'll have enough for the first down. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. They'll snap it from the 36. They've got a first down. He's looking to throw it. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. Well, it was a good throw, it was a good route, but it was the hit that forced that incompletion. They'll go back to work after the incompletion. Here's second and ten from the 36. Misfired on the last play, they'll go back to the air. Snagged in the middle, it's Hemby. Big play for this offense as they get it to the 32. And the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. It's a first down. They'll stop the clock to reset the chains. Offense up tempo. He'll just keep slinging it. Fires to the tight end. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there. And he stopped from getting the first down. You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late. And they're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this. And be smart. you got to attack the sidelines. you got to throw first downs. you got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. Dialing up a second down pass play. Grabbed over the middle. It's Howard. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every 
every second they can to try to rally here late. And the Terrapins have it with a first and ten. He wants to throw. He's got him still on his feet. That completion takes him down to the seven-yard line, and they are ready to strike. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. And the offense just chooses to spike the ball. It's now third down. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. Wants to throw. It's Edwards. Trying to get to it. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. The offense uses a timeout. 20 ticks remaining. Down by multiple possessions. They can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And he's got it. Late touchdown here, but it would take a miracle of Lazarus-like proportions to come back down. If we had any chance to make this happen, we had to score. It's a little bit of time on the clock. Now we need a miracle. Now, now we need to kick the onside, get an onside kick, and somehow, some way, make a big play. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. They march 79 yards on the drive, and they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. Down to 17 seconds to play. They'll line up for the onside kick, and what a miracle it would be if they pull this out. They were ready for the onside kick and executed perfectly, and they secure the football. Their work here is virtually done. No need to take any more chances. They'll line up in victory formation. Happy with the situation, the quarterback will take a knee. 